Hmm, today I'm doing a, a special thing. I'm doing episode 7 of Krypton season 2. So it's all this fun joining together and having a good experience, okay? And tomorrow, go on my YouTube channel because I'm going live tomorrow and doing talk with friends, okay? Join me there too, my brothers. So let's start with how it happens. Zars made a great speech to the people of Krypton, saying like, these terrorists won't stop us, their fear tactics won't uh, debar us, we have courage, and the Krypton people are like, yay! Then it cuts off to making uh, Zack L, his woman like that, and like, Brain X fuck with his brain, and they almost crash the ship, and they he's like, hey, you need to go to the Fortress of Hollow too, like this, or I'll, I'll hide out. It cuts off after that, to basically, freaking, um, OL, like that, Zach Hale's fault, OL, talking to freaking Adam Strange, the bartender, and like, hey, I have a mission for you. But like this, and like, oh, cool, they're not for you, for the bartender, like this, to uh, find out where the Sartari's at and look at the, tr the troops manager, like this. So, he goes to Adam Strange, like, why can't I be part of the mission? He's like, ask him, it's his mission. So he asked the guy, the guy made some jokes, like that, back and forth. So he signed up for the team mission, okay? Then it cuts back off to freaking um, Zod basically seeing freaking Doomsday like that and like oh my god and they're like, doing tests on him and trying to troll his mind like this and trying to believe because and then trying to basically find a way to troll him like that because it's a very powerful weapon like that. And it shows kind of the origin of how they made Doomsday like it's a little different from the comics like I, I'll get into the comic version later on in a different episode but um, it's pretty similar basically it has a flashback. And like the elves are even more effed up than the Zods, but you like this. Like this guy has a special genetic uh, disorder or a special genetic editor thing to make him different from your opponents. So like to activate his uh, his like genetic like take out difficult like that. To activate his genes, they have to experiment him, torture on him, basically kill him, bring him back to life like that. Like first they gas him, they bring him back to life. His body slowly changes and like. Even the Zod, the Zod back then, like, this is my stuff, you can't do this to a person like this. And, like, you see his, like, wife is crying now, because, like, it's, like, when she finds out what happens to her husband. Because this, this guy doesn't, didn't volunteer for these experiments, because they were having a civil war on Krypton, like that. And his side were losing. So he volunteered to be the experiment on because he's the only one that can, can, has a special genes like this. But... It was pretty bad, like his, like his wife, his, his child, like that, like basically never know the father, like this. But the spirit of the war, but let's go about the next scene. Next scene is basically, um, El goes to the thing, talks to the, the hologram of his grandfather, like that. And his grandfather basically told me, Yeah, we can get the, 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 the digital bites out of your head, like this. So he has to convince the victim to help him out, and she's like trying not to steal her man. So he basically helps her out. They get the freaking Digimon out of his, 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 his uh, spine like that. Puts it in, like, inside the freaking uh, Fortune of Sorrow Tree's little computer thing. And he's okay. Well, it cuts off of this, like the bartender and uh, Adam Strange walking these tunnels like this, looking for the soldiers like that. And one of the, the, the rebels finds some soldiers like this, like, oh, we should find some soldiers. Should we attack them? And the guy's like, no, I'll go talk to them, like, and see if they want to surrender. So he goes like that. The rest of the rebels just want to kill them like that and do a state attack. So, like, they have a little debate. <clears throat> then it cuts back to Zod and his chief freaking um, scientist doing, like, more tests on him. And, like, oh, yeah, we gotta troll his mind. Let's do a little more work like this. We have to look at his memories. And it shows back more memories of him being more transformed and like more torture thing, more of the experiments on before he fully evolved into the Doom Days we all know today, like this. And like his wife sees what he becomes and breaks down and cries like that and freaks out like this. Even she tried to even save her husband, she didn't know before he, she found out what he became. She puts a gun to like freaking L, like L's ancestor, like that. And Zod's ancestor, like saying, like, you give my husband, the war's over. Like that, like you need to stop torturing him, and like no, it's been done. Like we have two more things to do to make him unvulnerable. So that part was pretty interesting, like that. Then it cuts back to like Zod talking to Doomsday, saying like we're like brothers, like this. We both sacrificed all we could for Krypton, like this. We're both doing our best to save Krypton and make Krypton better, like this. I understand you. Like you're like an arrow with no, no born arrow, like this. We need to have you point it to the enemy to destroy them, like that, and be able to use your unique gifts. Like that. Uh, they have a little moment. 
basically, like, that's all back to freaking, um, Bartender in the Adam Strange. The soldiers come out, he's like, hey, we need to free them like that, because they, they're medically sick of the these guys. Aziz went like this, they've been starving, so we need to take them to Medicare, and the rebels like, no, we should just kill them like this. But they eventually follow the commander, and we go back to base, and, like, they complete the mission. Well, they cut back to thinking, um, uh, thinking like Zach L and he's this girl. They're talking like this. He goes, oh, I want to name it after your family. He, goes, he should take your family. So he finally, like, L, uh, Zach L finally gives his son. Because this is the first time he actually really spent time hanging with his son. Like that, because this has been back from Griffon. A true name. He finally names him Joel, like that, from the comics. Superman's basically the dad, like that. You know? Because he's his grandfather, Superman. So he finally gets his Joel's name, like that. And they have a romantic little moment. Like, and then the, the hologram thing is, what happened, like, something happened, the uh, Brandon like, uh, freaking danger bites are gone, and, like, he does a little scan over the bodies, and, like, it fi they found out, basically, none had the thing, Brandon took over the thing in the first of the like, with his own technology, like that, and he offers Zach, like, hey, I want you to come with me, like this, I thought, Kondo was the, the top of Krypton technology, but it's you, it's L Bloodline, like this. Come with me. Like, and, and, like, and it's looking like, Zach, I was like, that's not what I want. I don't want power. I just want to bring my family and I want you to leave. He's like, okay, you regret your decision like this. And then it comes off to his, like, his Zod, drink some wine like that, and he sees a ship of like, bring that wise up, and he's telling his soldiers to like, attack like this, and they barely escape like that. So I was like, okay, like, so, when that happens, the, sh the, sh the sh ship's the also about the tax things. It cuts back to thinking the uh, Brainiac and the Vector one thinking L. And like Brainiac's like, oh, no, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm not gonna destroy the planet. I'm gonna leave now. And when he disappears, like that, he takes their son, like that. And so like, yeah, the, the best thing about Krypton is the L bloodline, like that. So the episode ends like that. I give this episode a solid 8.9. It was really good. It was only almost a nine. Some plus with the boy, but it was really good. It showed you the creation of the Doom Time and it made him have a sad story like this. They made him more adult, made him more like more more relatable than in the comics in a way, but it was still pretty messed up like that. Uh, I can't wait for episode eight. I you know, like and subscribe and tell me what you thought of the episode. Do you think it was crap? Do you think it was good? And see me tomorrow on Talk with Friends. Okay? Have a blessed day. I'll be with you.